Hello. Hi. I'm here today with Hannah Frank. I've known Hannah for quite a few years now, have visited with them many times in their home, and she's a, a very skilled professional and is a mother of a delightful little girl who I love dearly and, and has a wonderful husband, and they have a house that is filled with sadhana and meditation and all of that. But something, she's had a major event go on in her life, and she told me some about it, and it's an incredibly beautiful, beautiful, if I can call it this, love story. And so uh, here's Hannah, and then I will say hi, Hannah. Hi, Swamiji. Hello. And uh, so here we are, and let me, I'll just kind of stand aside here and let you take over the show and you can say anything you want if you want to talk about you and I meeting or family or anything, and then tell the story that you want to tell, this beautiful story, or if you want, you can just dive in. So you're free to to do it as you wish, okay? Okay. Um, well, I can, maybe I'll just start really quickly, but with how Swamiji and I met, uh, we met um, many years ago now, I think, um, and my, uh, my husband had connected with Swamiji, um, through a mutual friend and, um, and invited Swamiji up to our house and he, he walked in and I thought, who is this person? I had no idea about the practice or, or the tradition. And, um, my daughter who was about three at the time was hiding under the bed. She didn't know what to do. And here was, here was Swamiji. And he came into our house and our lives have been forever changed. Um, so that was quite something. Um, and that was fun because I recall she was, they, they said to me, well, Margaret hides under the bed so she doesn't come out very much. And I thought, <laughs> well, that sounds fun. So I went and found her bedroom and crawled under the bed with her. That's right. And, we've been, and we've been friends ever since. And we've been friends ever since. And Swami yeah. and Margaret have been, have been friends ever since. That's so, what I was meaning. And she left from under the bed. <laughs> she she left from under the bread and bed and she has, has grown up. First, she did some piggyback rides um, on Swami G. And, and now when he visits, she takes him to the barn to see her ponies. And um, and it's it's really quite special. So, quite. yeah, it's quite, it's, a, quite a joy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I guess, Mamiji, I'm going to tell my story, if that's okay. Okay. I, um, recently, my, my mother, who, now I'm going to be teary, but my mother, who was 80 years old, um, left the body. And um, she had been, she was living in Ohio. We live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And um, she had been suffering from Alzheimer's. And um, about, I don't know, maybe a few, about a month ago, my sister called me. My sister is the caretaker. And she said, you know, they're thinking about putting mom in hospice care. It looks like it's the beginning of the end. Um, you know, maybe you should go and see her sometime. And I said, that, you know, that sounds nice. And one day I was sitting with Gene, my husband, and I said to him, Gene, I need to go see my mom right now. And he said, and he was very supportive. He said, you're right. Pack up your bags, go get in the car, give Margaret a hug and go see her. And so within the hour, I got in my car and I drove from Pittsburgh to Ohio. It's about five hours. And um, I got there. It was a Monday night. And I, um, I checked into the hotel and I thought, oh, I'll just go see my mom in the morning. And I got a call from my sister at about 430 on Tuesday morning. And she said, you know, the nurses called mom had a really bad night. Can you go right now? And I said, of course, I'll be there in five minutes. And I threw on my clothes and I went to see my mom. And um, I walked in and um, she was just lying in her bed and she was very um, distraught. She was moving around and very anxious. And, um, and I thought, what do I do? 
what 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 should I do? And and this idea came into my into me, and it said, mantra. You should you should say a mantra. And so I went to Swami J. Um, dot com and I pulled up a really wonderful video about Soham and I thought this this is just right and I played it and my mother Just, okay, hit the okay. You may have to hit the refresh key on your computer to bring it back. Anyway, her, she's refreshing and it should be back momentarily. We're on. All right, there we go. Yeah, there you go. It's Margaret. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Little glitch with the battery, apparently, everybody. So, but it'll be all okay now. And where did we leave off? You were just getting the call. You were, you said to your sister, I'll be there in five minutes, I think is approximately where we left off. Right. So I, I said to my sister, I'll be there in five minutes. I threw on my clothes and I went to where my mother was living in, a, in an assisted living facility. And then mantra. You remembered mantra. You, you, you called up on the computer and you looked at Soham. And I looked at Soham. And that made my mom very peaceful. And it helped calm my own kind of anxiousness and, and nervousness. And so I sat with my mom. And then I thought, Om. I, it just... You know, I don't know that I thought Om, but Om came into my mind. And so, and my mother, so I said, I started saying, Om. And I can't say it very well right now because I'm a little emotional. And I said it just over and over again, right next to my mom. And she, uh, she sat up and she said, and she couldn't hear very well. She was almost deaf. And she said to me, what are you saying? And I said, I'm saying Om. And she said, that's beautiful. And she closed her eyes and she became very peaceful. And the agitation stopped. You know, she had been kind of moving and very just upset. She couldn't, you know, it was, it was, she was just very agitated and she became very quiet and peaceful and I said to her, I love you, mom. And she said, I love you too, honey. <laughs> and so I just held her hand and um, she, um, and I just said, oh, over and over again. <laughs> and she just very quietly and very peacefully left the body. And she just, with some deep breaths and her eyes closed, and then the breaths just stopped. And at the very end, I just said, Om Tat Sat, Om Tat Sat, Om. <laughs> and then I just sat with her quietly. 
and that was and that was it. But it was it was absolutely incredible, Swami G. It was funny. I it was just it was beautiful, and it wasn't me. It wasn't my mind. I just I had so much help, and I knew we were there. I kept thinking, what would Swami G do? What would Swami G say to me? And I just knew it was just there that knowing. So it was it was an incredible. Say incredible. more about the knowing, if you would, please. When you say there was a knowing. Well, you know, so when I got there at you know five in the morning, and I thought, oh my gosh, my mom, you know, she's dying. My mom's dying. I've never, I don't know what to do. What do I do? And um, I thought, and in my mind, I thought, Swamiji, what would Swamiji say? And then this just bright, this such clear thoughts, not thoughts, just knowing, you know, it's just right there. It just fills you, this whole thing. Mantra. Okay, what mantra? Soham. Okay, now what? Om. Okay, now what do I do? Hold her hand. Tell her you love her. Like it wasn't, wasn't my mind. It wasn't my conscious mind. It was, I just knew I was, it was this just so strong of, of what to do and what to say. And, um, and so, I mean, it was, it was absolutely, it was beautiful. Um, it was just incredible. It really was. These are amazing experiences, huh? Oh, I mean, life, life altering, mind altering experiences. For sure. When you say life altering, can you say more about what that means to you now? How long ago was that that your mom left? My mom left. Um, it was October twenty fourth, maybe. It was a Tuesday, so maybe I guess about three weeks ago, and um, it was incredible. I have to say a couple of other things too. While this was happening, I could just also hear the hum, the the music inside, like a, a beautiful, that beautiful music that you hear inside. And and afterwards, it just it's life altering because you realize, you know, you hear all these words, right? You hear what Om means. And you hear about practice and you hear about sadhana and you think about it maybe intellectually. But it was such an incredible experience um, watching and knowing. And it was, um, it, you know, it wasn't just my small little, like small M mind thinking these things. It was, it was this incredible experience that was beyond the little small me, if that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, since then, it just, it changes, you know, how you view everything, how I, you know, the actions that I take in the world and, you know, how I, how I view my relationship with Jean and Margaret and, um, you know, and how I view kind of every minute of every day and even, even my practice, you know, it's just. Can you put any words to, to that of when you say how it has changed it? and how, how it is for you in the aftermath of that incredible experience? Yeah, I think it, I, it, um, I guess I would say that it helps me, it re-alters, it helps, it re-altered how I, um, like, look at the habits of my mind and how I react to whatever it is I'm, doing or thinking and how I see me little, you know, hand a personality in the world versus the true reality. You, does that make sense? Yeah, um, but keep going. It's just, it, it, you know, it's incredible that, you know, I always heard the word OM, you know, and I always think, oh, the, you know, there's the, the four levels of reality and the Tripura, you know, looks out over the other three, but you don't, you know, those were just kind of words that I heard intellectually, but to, to watch and to see and to, to live through that experience and to see the effect on my mother and how, and how her path, you know, it changed her passing, I think. 
um, it was incredible, Swamiji. Yeah. And what a gift for her to be able to have her daughter with her in that special kind of way. I, I think she was waiting, um, actually. I think that she had held on until um, I was there. And then I think she was at peace and ready to go. I think yeah. that that was just the right, it was the right thing for her. Yeah. If that makes sense. Very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it was incredible. And so now where are you today, three weeks later? Uh, today, physically? No, Hannah. Where's Hannah with, with in the aftermath of all of that? Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually? How, how would you say that now? Um, I would say that now I am, um, it was, it was, it altered, you know, as you know, I, um, I work too hard. And I, um, I'm always stressed out. I'm always doing my job first. And it just altered the my entire perception of, um, of where I am in my life. And, you know, now I sit my ass down in my seat every night, even if it's for a little bit. And it always comes back to me, OM. OM is something that's kind of ever-present in my mind. Now I've seen... I've experienced Om. I see Om, and so it's there. And Gene and I, Gene is always talking about mantra and how he hears it, and how he's always listening for his sound. And sometimes I always think that's just words, chat, 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 chat. Yeah. No, I really, I truly understand. There's something to it, huh? There's really something to it. It's incredible. And. When it was when I was in the middle of it, I could feel you had said to me a long time ago, again, the words, but I hadn't had that experience. And I could I could hear every syllable and then the the silence at the end. And I could feel it. I could feel that silence in that it's palpable. Yeah, it's palpable. It's not just a word. Um so I so now you know you, the answer to your question. Where am I three you know three weeks later? I'm I'm I've had a, this incredible. I don't know. It's a pretty life altering experience. This this ex, this touch with the true reality. I think. Um, and so it, it has come closer. It's come closer by a lot. I think. Um, so. It was, it was an incredible experience. And um, when, you know, the craziness kind of takes over sometimes because we have lots of craziness in our life, um, I think it, it helps me take that distance and a step back and think, this isn't real. This really isn't important. You know, be happy. You know, enjoy this life you have and take care of all that you're doing. Take care of your body and your family and just you know, that's what's really have this experience in this body and really make it important and last. What the priorities are, sounds like. Yeah, what the priorities are. And, you know, it's it's fleeting. This is a life with a purpose and 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 um, and it's a life that I now have a different perspective of what it is. Does it make sense? It's not just words that I hear anymore, Swamiji. Yeah, no, I hear you. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying hearing words come out of you of what you, of how that is for you when you say there's a new perspective. And it's not easy to do, but to try to put words to that, that my perspective now is, et cetera. Yeah, it's not easy to say, but my perspective, it's more distance. Um, it's more... Um, it's more based on um, not just the little me, Hannah, which is easy to do. Yeah. That's, so it was pretty incredible, I must say. Yeah. Yeah. So, and of course, I, um, and I called you right away and I said, Swamiji, I have to tell you about this because I don't even, in some ways, I probably don't even, 
it hasn't even all settled in my mind, but it's something that I think about a lot. You know, that's the other incredible thing. This experience, you know, sometimes experiences come and go and they just, you know, once they go, they go and you don't think about it much. But this is something I think about a lot. You know, it's 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 very present in my mind or has been the past three weeks. Yeah. And after she told me this story and I asked, uh, tried to ask it delicately, what would you think about sharing this with some other people who are practicing sadhana because this is so rich some other people might very much benefit from hearing what you have to say about this experience and so she graciously agreed to do that so that we could sit here today and have this conversation right let some of you listen in on this life event and it was touching for me too when she described that situation because I had the good fortune, I, not to get into the details of the story, don't matter, but I had the good fortune of being with my mother at the moment, my biological mother at the moment that she left. And so I know that it is an incredible, incredible experience in that kind of way. It's funny you say that. I had remembered that. That was one of the thoughts that came into my mind when... Um, when I was going through this and I thought, so she has talked about this. And um, so I don't know. It was very, yeah, so here I am. Huh? Here we are. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Pretty cool. So you're sitting there. I didn't ask for this, but this is what I get. And here I am. And here you are. Yep. Yeah. So it was, so, go ahead. I was just thinking maybe it's time to draw to an end the conversation. Any sort of last minute thoughts or words or feelings that you would want to say to, to share to whoever else in Sat Satsang might be looking at this in a little bit? I think um, the thing that I would say is that I never appreciated the power of mantra. That mantra, I just thought of mantra, you know, I can, you know, there are four paths and blah, 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 like intellectually. But I never, I never, I never understood two things, the power of mantra, which is incredible. And, and, and Om, which is, you know, it's just, it was, I, I just, it, that was, it was everything. That was it. It was the whole thing right there. And the other thing was that it was so strong. Um, the, the guidance that came in to me at the time it clearly wasn't you know those were those were my thoughts those weren't you know things that came from from this mind you know and it was so strong and it was so powerful and um and i am so glad that i was able to to not shut them down but to hear to to hear it and respond and to act on that and then help my mother and yeah. to um, it, that was, I mean, it was so strong. I couldn't not, but you know, you certainly can always, you know, shut something down like that. And so it was just, I, I it was incredible that guidance that came from within. Beautifully, beautifully said. So anyway, thank you for letting me share. Well, thank you for being willing to do this and allow, allow others to sit in on this delicious, delightful, warm hearted, loving story, life experience. Thank you, Hannah. Uh, thank you, Swamiji. Thank you for everything. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. Love you, too. Om. Om. Tat Sat. <laughs> Om Tat Sat. And it's good for a laugh, too. <laughs> yes. There you go. Okay.